What's going on everybody? This is Anthony here with my YouTube channel called Horror Life. And uh, I've been meaning to do a, I guess you want to call it a horror room. I guess that's what everybody's calling it on YouTube and stuff. It started out as a horror room, but I just collect so much different stuff. Toys and science fiction, and comedy stuff. That, but the majority of my stuff is horror room. I've been meaning to do a little uh, tour of uh, everything I got in my room. Um, so here we go. Uh, let me do a little pan around of what I got going on so far. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so there's my door. And of course, uh, no man cave slash horror room is equipped without your Samsung VR, which is the greatest thing in the world, obviously. And here I got a silk poster, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. I like these small little posters because I got so many posters, but I don't have room for them anywhere. Uh, of course, I got my little Spider-Man thing here. Uh, for some reason, I like collecting uh, little skeletons, so anytime I see one... I always check them out. I got a little clown, a little bride, a little surgeon, nurse. I got a two-headed one because uh, we got twins, two girls, and sometimes this is what they are. So there's the twins. Uh, a little regular skeleton, and, you know, there's a little groom skeleton. Uh, down here, I got these uh, really big Star Wars troopers. I got these things for like $2 at a yard sale. Pretty nifty. Um, I got my X-Files Barbie dolls, not really horror, sign more science fiction. I got those at an uh, antique shop. It's pretty cool. I had to pick those things up. Um, over here I got, this is kind of cool. This is a, uh, it's a paperweight, but as you can see, it's Alfred Hitchcock. And the crazy thing is I had this for like a year, and I never knew that it was Alfred Hitchcock in the inside, which is kind of cool. Um... Got to have the skull, uh, sugar, sugar skulls. Got my Tony Burton Nightmare Before Christmas shot glass. Uh, Jason Dorbs. This thing is really cool. I just bought this like two days ago. I mean, that is just awesome. That's like the, the last stage uh, Mario versus Bowser two-pack. I mean, look at how they did the box, man. The box looks exact. It's got the little bridge in there, and you got, you got the little things that he's throwing. That is just awesome. I got to find more of these things. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on down here? Uh, I got uh, in the back there, that is a uh, Ed O'Neill, Married with Children, uh, dude. Um, it's actually autographed, as you can see. I got his autograph on the bottom there. I uh, got a gizmo, uh, some shot glasses here. This is kind of cool. I think I got this from Horror Block, which I miss. Horror Block was awesome. I wish they came back. Uh, I haven't really found a really good horror subscription box yet, but uh, hopefully in the future. Uh, in the back there, that is a, an actual movie prop from the show Lost. Uh, it's a bottle of water. Uh, just some little doodads and stuff there. Uh, here's uh, some Freddy stuff. I got some Freddy and Jason cookie cutters in the back. Uh, NECA, I think that's a NECA. I know that's a Todd McFarlane. Uh, Freddy doll. I got the Nightmare on Elm Street flask. I got some eyeballs here. I got them off eBay. They look really sick. Uh, that's a Ouija thing. Over there, another uh, McFarlane figure of uh, Pamela Voorhees. Got uh, Leatherface there, some skulls, and I got a Jason Lego action figure. And uh, uh, over here, what do we got here? This is really cool. Uh, these are, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen, have you ever seen the Book of Eli? Uh, these are, uh, Michael Gambin. Michael Gambin was the guy that played, uh, Professor Dumbledore in the Harry Potter movies. Uh, if you remember the scene where, uh, Denzel Washington and, um, what was it, Chris, was it Christina Ricci, I think? Uh, they found those two cannibals in the middle of the desert. So these are the gloves that, uh, the Michael Gambin wore in the movie. And those are pretty awesome. Uh, I won those in an auction from Premier Props. Can't remember how much money I paid for them. But uh, I remember it. I think it was a pretty good deal that I got. Uh, just some little little skulls. Skull glass. Uh, little doodads there. 
Um, over here I got uh, beetle juice. This is kind of cool. It's actually soap, but it looks like blood. Kind of neat. Uh, in the back, this is kind of cool. This is a, it's not the original, it's a replica of the handbook of Recently Deceased. And the cool thing about it is, if you open it up inside, it actually has the script of uh, everything that was ever read in the movie Beetlejuice, uh, whenever uh, they open up the book and read in it. So those are all the words that they read. That's a cool little feature. And I think there's something else in here somewhere. I don't know, there used to be a, a little Beetle, Beetlejuice flyer in there. But uh, I think I may have moved that to somewhere else. Okay, going back up here, what do we got here? Uh, I just started collecting the NECA figures, which are really awesome. Oh, sorry, I dropped my phone. So, so far I got the, I got that one there, which is really awesome. These figures are so awesome. Uh, if you ever want to pick these up, you can get them now. I used to be able to get them from Target, or not Target, from uh, Toys R Us. But now Target sells these. And then I got the new Pennywise It. That's really awesome. I love how they did the teeth. That one, that just looks awesome. Uh, I got that one. And I got uh, this Freddy Krueger one, which is actually one of the coolest ones that I've ever seen. It comes with a whole lot of stuff in there. You got the two-headed dogs, hat, an extra glove, three different heads. That one's really cool. Uh, I got these from uh, the uh, Spirit Halloween store. And they're like little lights. Those are pretty cool. They play the whole song. And then, of course, we got Beetlejuice, one of my favorites. And we got Pinhead down there. And I've been starting to collect, uh, I'm a fan of the old Mego figures, and Mego just uh, started to release uh, new figures. So anytime I find one, I buy it. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, so I got uh, Norm Peterson from Cheers, Samantha from Bewitched, Peggy Bundy from Married with Children. Um, I got Tootie from The Facts of Life. And just yesterday, I picked up Fonzie from Happy Days. And again, the only place that you can get these uh, retail, if you want to go buy them from the store, is Target. And uh, I got the little NECA Superman. I'm not really a Superman fan, but my girl got it for me, so that's cool. Uh, over here, uh, it's a Bill Johnson autographed Leatherface. And I just think that is awesome. I actually got to get a new frame for it. But check out that signature, man. I mean, that is just bad, man. That's bad. Over here, this is uh, phew, one of my pride and joys. That's why it's in this fancy little frame here. Uh, as you can see, it's a picture of the Psycho House. And it is autographed by Vera Mells, Janet Leigh, and um, what's his name? Anthony Perkins. So that is awesome. I will never get rid of that. Uh. Got a cool little gargoyle here. I love that thing. I uh, just got this. Just picked this up the other day. Got this from Walgreens. Uh, Vampire Jack and Wing Demon. These are made by Diamond Select Toys. And I went ahead and also picked up Sally and the Mummy Boy. And what else we got? Uh, got a little Sugar Skull figure. I love Rick and Morty, so I got Pickle Rick. That's an actual pickle in there. Uh, and this thing right here is actually my concession stand that I built. It's got a popcorn maker on it. I just put some some snacks and stuff on there for whenever I'm watching a movie. Got my old school cereal glasses. Boo Berry, Count Chocula, and Frankenberry. And, you know, don't call me a girl, but I had to pick up. I got a 35th anniversary of My Little Pony. I really, I got this for my lady. For her birthday, I'm trying to get her into collecting toys, so that's her first toy there. So hopefully, uh, you know, she can get into the same thing I'm doing. Uh, there's my little popcorn machine. Uh, as you can see, we got Jack, Pumpkin King there, R2-D2. Those are all my remotes for the lights. 
uh, Nightmare on Elm Street poster that I got. I think I also got this from Horror Life. Or not Horror Life. That's me. Uh, uh, the Horror Box. This right here is pretty awesome. My 12-year-old daughter. I asked her what she wanted for Christmas. She said she wanted a sketchbook. I gave her a sketchbook. Told her to draw a picture for me. And that's what she drew. Tell me that ain't awesome. That is awesome. So now I'm going to start giving her a bunch of different requests to draw for me. Uh, there's a little Funko keychains. I only got four of them. I don't really collect these that much, but these are the ones that came with uh, some Horbox subscriptions that I got. So, you know, now that I got four of them, I got to collect all of them. Uh, Walking Dead Clock. And one of my favorite, favorite cult horror films of all time is Reanimator. So I had to pick that up. And I actually found that at a uh, trade store. It's like a pawn shop slash trade shop. And they had it in there. And come on now. You got to have a copy of that. Man. That's awesome. Uh, another one of my favorite childhood movies is The Neverending Story. So I got a poster. And check this out. I'm sure you ain't seen one of these in a while. Um, well, actually, before I show you that, I have an autograph of Atreyu. And check this out. Yes, this is a replica uh, Neverending Story book. Uh, if you want to look at the sides of it, it has like weird pages. I mean, it looks really, really awesome. And I had a prop builder make this for me a couple years ago. If you open it up, it actually has blank pages in it. Uh, there's nothing on any of the pages. But that is just an awesome piece that I love. Uh, and then I got this cool little Friday the 13th. It's got a bunch of the different movies miniaturized in the frame. Uh, this is a stamp that I had framed of the Amityville house. It's kind of cool. Uh, underneath here, we got Alf. Alf is awesome. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, NECA Body Knockers, Freddy Krueger. Uh, these are these new uh, Savage World um, horror figures. I got Nightmare on Elm Street and... Pinhead. Those are the only two that I've been able to find so far. Uh, of course, you got to have a Batman mask. And I got a Robert Englund autographed figure. Down here, we got... I think that's Michael Myers. Yeah. Uh, oh, and this is kind of cool. This is an autographed figure of... Uh, I believe her name is Shawnee Smith from uh, Saw. Now, I also have one of the needles that was uh in the pit that she fell in i actually used to have the needle inside but i'm trying to find a better shadow box that i can put in both this and the actual needle but i haven't been able to find anything that i like so far uh this here is obviously slimer picked this up from spirit halloween and that's really cool it actually hangs from the wall but i think he looks better just kind of sitting down um, got some, uh, got a little light here that you can turn on, which uh, I'll show you at the end of the video, all my lights that I have in the room. Uh, some Batman and some Nightmare Before Christmas handkerchiefs. And, uh, no room is complete without a Coke and popcorn. So those are kind of cool. Got Curious George lunchbox in the back. Um, one of my favorite old cartoons is the original Mickey Mouse. Once again, this is not horror at any way, but it is kind of cool. He does his little steamboat willy dance. So that's him. Behind that is I got one of these big figs. What I'm actually going to do with that, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos where they're uh, taking these things apart and uh, painting them gold chrome and actually inserting LED eyes inside so that's one of my projects that i'm gonna start on i haven't started on yet i actually just got this a couple weeks ago in the mail so i'll be doing that pretty soon i'll do a video on that uh cinema fair 2 got leatherface freddy and jason Voorhees. got my elm street sign uh over here that's a freddy krueger sweater that i picked up also from spirit halloween and got you know freddy krueger glove it's real metal, real blades. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't remember where I got this from. Um, 
I think it was uh, an artist that made these masks on eBay a couple years ago. And I just picked one up. I thought it looked really cool to display on the wall. It's got a lot of detail in it. Looks like a real ripped off face. And yeah, I think I'm going to put a nail in there instead of a thumbtack. So it looks like it's, you know, nailed to the wall. So that's that side of the room. Then, of course, we've got the main thing in the room, which is our... 75 inch LG TV No whole room is complete without the biggest TV you could possibly find and Yeah, now I want to actually put this in the living room and Replace it with an 85 inch, but I can't I'm gonna have to buy a new table as you can see this that it's sitting on is actually it's an executive pedestal uh, desk I just flipped the desk around moved it up against the wall and put the TV on it and as you can see it goes all the way across um, of course, there's my Xbox, my cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke, it's bad for you. Down here are my Funko Pops, and let's see what we got here. We got Audrey 2, that's probably one of my favorite ones. I've never seen it anywhere until the day that I bought it, and since I bought it, I've never seen it anywhere else. There's another version of this that actually has blood splatter on it, so... Hey, if anybody's got one and wants to sell it, let me know. Now, under that is Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees, 8-bit character. Alfred Hitchcock, one of my all-time most favorite directors of all time. Uh, Danny Torrance from The Shining. Uh, Carrie from Carrie. I love Ghostbusters. Can't wait for the new movie to come out. So, there's Ghostbusters. Go down. Of course, I got Dr. Seuss. Uh, since I love Rick and Morty and I love Freddy Krueger, I had to have Scary Terry. I don't know why I have Amy Winehouse. I think uh, there's your, there, that's why I picked it up for two ninety nine at a antique shop, and I was like, you know what? She's kind of scary, so I guess I'll grab her. I love Bender. Bender is the coolest thing. Uh, there's an Ash one, Family Guy. And there's the original Pennywise, Gizmo from Gremlins, Freddy Krueger, Bride of Chucky figure, and Child's Play 2 figure. And this one is pretty cool. My, aunt, my wife got this for me for, I believe, Christmas or my birthday a couple years ago. This is an autographed pinhead by Doug Bradley, and that's, uh, everybody knows, Doug Bradley's the guy that played pinhead. So that is really awesome, and that actually, I just want to start collecting now autographed Funko Pops, and I, ha I haven't bought a second one yet, but I'm working on it. So that's what I got everything down there. Uh, my mom got me this cool thing to hang on the wall. I haven't hung it up yet, but I will soon. And what we got over here, uh, Jason Mask, Scream Mask. And I don't remember where I got that from. I know I got it on eBay somewhere, but I mean, I've seen a lot of Jason masks, but that mask is really, really awesome. Uh, if you just look at the color and the paint job on it, it was really great. Uh, there's the Ecto-1, big one, little one, Transformers. Underneath all that, we got Gizmo sitting in the corner. This is an original stuffed animal from the 1980s. I've had it ever since the movie came out. Ever since I was a kid, I've just had it ever since. I've never been able to find one like this anywhere online. It's really awesome. It's just one of my favorite, favorite things that I have. Uh, Frame 9 Dead, which was like a low budget, kind of like a spinoff of like Saw. It's kind of like a remake. Um, if anybody's ever seen the movie Dazed and Confused, this is actually a replica. It's not the original, but it is an awesome replica of Boomer's paddle from Dazed and Confused which is the character that was played by Ben Affleck. Uh, you can see, it says Boomer. I mean, you can screen match this a lot, uh, all you want, and it looks identical. Identical, even like the little dot there, the positioning of the lettering. And the paint that's, that's wiped all over it, that's paint supposed to symbolize the, the last scene before he broke his paddle, when uh, the freshman dunked all the water on top of him. So this is really cool. I need to, I've been meaning to actually 
display that on the wall, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. You know, you guys know how it is. Uh, this guy needs absolutely no introduction. You already know who he is. I was able to get that uh, the day after Halloween. It's Spirit Halloween. Uh, I think it was $100 for sale, but since he was the display model, and as you can see, the arm is a little... It kind of hangs backwards. I got them for 30 bucks, so that was pretty awesome. I mean, where can you get a Chucky figure life-size for $30? You just can't. And I also was able to pick this up in the same night. I think I got this for like 80% off. He plays a bunch of different things. Uh, I got my leg lamp. Picked that up from an antique store. It's uh it's not a full life size one, but it is a miniature one and it serves its point. Uh there's that weird little she's weird. She ends up in different places all over the room. Sometimes I come in the room and she's by the TV, sometimes I come in the room and she's she's behind the TV. She moves all over the place. Uh got to have a footrest. This is a cool. I got this for Spirit Hollywood too. You just touch it and it lights up, crystal ball. Changes different colors. Looks really cool when the lights are off in the room. And, of course, you got to have your blacked out curtains. Keep all the sunlight out. Uh, portrait of Judy Garland. This is actually my wife's. And she constantly says, I don't want it in the man cave. Move it to over the fireplace. But, hey, you know what? It matches, so I leave it in here. And these are like some necklaces that I got from Spirit Halloween. Um, Stranger Things. They're really cool. I actually have another set that has like a hundred lights on it that you can hang on the wall, but it doesn't have all the different settings that this one has. It, the other one just either turns on or off. This one actually has a bunch of different settings. So we got that. Um, what else we got? We got Freddy Krueger over here. Another silk poster on the wall. Uh, these are like postcards. That I just put inside little frames. Got Base Motel, Freddy Krueger, Freddy. Uh, this was a, a book called Burn the Rabbit and autographed by the writer of the book, which actually I got this in the mail with one of my uh, box subscriptions. Another picture of Freddy. Freddy. Freddy again. Um, another silk poster of Pinhead. I love this poster. I've never seen it anywhere before. It just. It looks so sinister and dark. Uh, another autograph by uh, Doug Bradley. Also got that in a subscription box. Uh, these are the Evil Dead Girls. And I got... It's autographed by each one of them. I don't remember exactly what their names are, but... There's Shelly. Uh, Sherry, Shelly, and Linda. So I think that's pretty awesome to have, you know. I haven't found too many things. I, I love autographs that have, like, multiple signatures on the same one. Uh, this here is a Tom Hanks. Uh, I actually work in the executive transportation business, and Tom Hanks is actually one of our clients. So that is autographed. Can't really see it that well, but it's in there. My, uh, my wife's favorite movie is Forrest Gump, and Tom Hanks is her favorite character. There's Frankenstein. And there's a Shroot Buck. From the office kind of cool i don't know if you guys remember that episode but if you do and here's a panorama of the entire room again i have a lot more stuff in my walk-in closet in my master bedroom and there's no way it's all going to fit in here so i'm actually going to move out of my master bedroom and i'm going to be moving into this room and all of this stuff and all my other stuff is going to go into the new bedroom which I'm actually currently replacing the carpet, painting the walls, and that's going to be awesome. That's going to have my theater-style couch, the TV, and then I'm actually going to get a new TV stand for the TV. And then that desk that the TV is on is actually going to go behind the couch, and I'm going to have an office in the background that has my computer and everything on it. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the lights off. I installed uh, some LED lighting behind the cabinets which is really neat um, I have a remote control that controls all of these lights that's a concession stand 
Right now I have this one just kind of morphing between each light. The one over there is doing its own thing. And then I also have two more six foot strands in the back of the television set. I have one on top and one on the bottom, which gives it this dual color mode. And it just looks really cool. I'll show you what that looks like in the back. See, I have one on the top and then another one on the bottom. These lights are awesome. You know, I wanted to buy the Philips Hue bulbs but they're so expensive. I mean, one strip is like 90 bucks. You know what I mean? And then, you know, they're voice activated. These do the exact same things as the Philips Hue bulbs, only they come with a remote control. You get a packet with a six foot cord in it and it comes with a remote. Oh crap, I dropped them. And it comes with one of these remotes and they cost $4.88 at Walmart for one box. They don't connect together, but still, I have all these remotes in here for each box that I have. And the cool thing about it is one remote will control all of them. And you can actually change the colors. Like, for example, if I wanted to change this color right here to white, I would just go up to it. Oh, actually, this one doesn't have batteries in it. I don't know which one has batteries in it. But anyway, in order to use it, you, you have to be close to the light. You click the button and it changes the colors. That way you can do one and then you can walk over there and you can do that on the, another one and change the color on that one, which is really great. So you can have different colors. You can put them all on the same color. You can do whatever you want to do. I have a lamp over here that right now just has a black light in it, but I'm going to put a color changing bulb in there that has a remote. And I think that'll be a really cool feature right now. It just has a black light in it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my horror room slash toy room i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any ideas of any cool things i can do to make it better let me know hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe and like i got a lot of other videos coming out toy reviews that i'm gonna do uh hope you guys had a good time see you guys next time thanks